Good morning from the Chardon Weather Center. This week I'm going to limit my forecast to five days and maybe venture into a little conjecture as, as to how the, the following week may look, but I'm actually limiting it to five days because the models have been so bad after four or five days that it's no sense to even talking about what's coming after that period. Uh, well, I can, I can venture an opinion and show you what possibly could happen, but to put out forecasts is insane at this time. And right here we have uh, this afternoon with periods of light snow approaching northern Ohio with this disturbance promising to bring perhaps an inch or two uh, later Saturday night into Sunday, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, later Sunday, Saturday night I should say, uh, we have this little disturbance approaching northern northeast Ohio and uh, it promises to bring an inch or two in spots and nothing uh, dramatic, nothing we can't handle up here. And during the day Sunday we get some more uh, snow uh, developing with this little weak low system right here. And uh, it could, like I said, uh, produce a little bit of accumulation, uh, nothing that we can't handle. And uh, this will proceed this way and perhaps even uh, dust uh, New Jersey into northern Delaware with an inch or so in spots before it's over for first thing uh, Monday morning. This is later Sunday night. Now, as you can see, there, is, there could be a period of snow all the way to the coast uh, with some spots perhaps picking up an inch or two. Just wanted to show that real quick to everybody living from northern Delaware into New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Monday afternoon, and we have this little system passing through uh, North Carolina and South Virginia. There could be a period of very light snow, not, not that much, perhaps a coating to an inch in, or in spots, and that's about it down here. Tuesday afternoon, and another little disturbance passes through the stream, and it might bring a little bit of light snow as far north as uh, Lynchburg. <clears throat> we'll wait and see on that. And, uh, this is how it looks for a Tuesday afternoon with the big high pressure settled over uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And right here we have, uh, this would be Wednesday afternoon, and we have cold air damming right here. The signature is classic with cold air funneling down this way with low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico heading this way. And it looks like it's going to be a slop fest for my good friends in uh, southwest Virginia. I'll show you real quickly how that's going to look. Wednesday night in southwest Virginia, you start out possibly as snow or sleet. But uh, by morning, you're going to be changing to rain. So it doesn't look real promising with this particular setup at this time. Of course it may change, but like I said, this is some five or so days out and you know how the patterns have been looking at five days out and you can't put anything on five days out. But uh, just to get ahead of ourselves a little bit, there have been signs that uh, next week, after this week coming up, of course, that we could see a change to a milder pattern across the eastern half of the country with temperatures perhaps five to ten degrees above normal in spots. Uh, We'll wait and see on that, but uh, thank you for joining me from the Chardon Weather Center.